Welcome back to Carlton, Minnesota. You're watching Toe to Toe Tuesday here on FS1. We're inside the Black Bear Casino Resort. Time for our next fight. Couple of heavyweights. Let's get right to the Corona tale of the tape. Wes Snowfire. He is unbeaten. He's got the height advantage. But Joey Abel, he's a veteran. He's fought the likes of Tyson Fury all over the world. He's got the reach advantage. As well as take a look at the weight advantage for Abel as well. Both fighters are in the ring. We get the official introduction from the one and only Ray Flores. Ladies and gentlemen, live on FS1 from Carlton, Minnesota. Premier Boxing Champions now features eight rounds in the heavyweight division. The three judges ringside are John Mariano, Scott Moe, and Walter Wolby. And the referee in charge, when the bell sounds, Gary Mizwa. Introducing first fighting out of the red corner, wearing the black with the white trim. His professional record, 31 wins, 29 of those coming by way of knockout against nine losses, fighting out of Coon Rapids, Minnesota. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joey, Minnesota Ice, A Bell. Across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. He comes in wearing black along with red trim. As a professional, perfect 19 bouts, 19 victories, 15 of those coming by way of knockouts. Fighting out of Tahlequah, Oklahoma. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Wes, the Cherokee Warrior, No Fire. Boxers, you already received your instructions in the dressing room. Remember, obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Keep it clean, I'll keep it fair. Touch them up, best of luck. Wes No Fire is making his national hey, television Jeff, debut Jeff, tonight. Jeff, he says right? Joey Abel is an experienced veteran who he plans to oh, knock yeah, out. Cool. Joey Abel says this fight is crucial to his boxing career. And he says the Time. outcome will determine his future in the sport. This is round one. Abel in the black trunks, the white trim. No Fire in the black trunks, the red trim. I'm excited for this one. Third man in the ring. Gary Mezra, take a look at his shirt. You see how finely pressed that shirt is the referee has on? Mizra says his mother has <laughs> been doing his shirts for the past 38 years. She's 93 years old, loves boxing, watching tonight. Hello, Ms. Mizra. That's amazing. How about that? She says she only asks he doesn't get any blood on the shirts and mess them up. See West establishing his jab and his distance. Hey, Bell, he's a southpaw. You can see, he says, I'm going to try to land that left hand. Yeah, it looks like A. Bell's swinging for the fences. Here's the jab there from No Fire. He's trying to land that straight left hand. I can see him bring that hook right back off of it. Hey, Bell has a lot of experience. I mean, he's been in there with some of the top guys, Tyson Fury, Chris Ariola. So we'll see how he fares in this fight. Nerves, he says tense. Being tense has always been his downfall for some of these fights, these TV fights. I'm a little confused with the, with this name, No Fire. I, uh, well, listen, uh, you know, he, he's, he's Cherokee. In fact, his father is full-blooded Cherokee. He's from... Uh, to Lipwalk, Oklahoma, which is an Indian reservation there in Oklahoma. And he says even in between fights, he still goes back there to, to live to see his family. Hey, Bell been laying in that left hand. How about that left hand right there? Time. Yeah, three or four times. Here. Most fighters better have some fire. <laughs> <laughs> Combination air fight, no Brent. fire. Step out here. Out here. We're under a minute here in round one. We're scheduled for eight. We'll see if no fire can adjust. Both, 
both of these guys are focused on trying to land a pretty pretty big shots. All right, Bill basically said this fight determines whether or not I continue on in this sport. He's firing that left hand, but he's kind of falling in, leaning with it. He can, that's kind of dangerous. You can get caught. I was just telling him he shouldn't throw it to the body, and he, and he did right before I said it. Right. Time. When we come back, round two. Let's go to work, baby. Come on. We're, we're too hard for this. Yeah, yeah. No, no more fire gifts, getting all right? instructions all right. from Let's his take trainer. Let's the fight to him now. Right. Zach is Got two guys. Two. Just started working with Ronnie Shields. This is the second fight of those two together. In fact, you see No Fire there making his national television debut. He says he's the first Cherokee member to fight on national television. A lot of people watching from Oklahoma. Ronnie's one of the best in the business. He's produced a lot of world champions. As these two mix it up here in round two. I tell you, Abel keeps left landing that left hand. If, if he would just bring the right hook behind it, it could, it could, it could cause some serious damage. And, uh, no fire only had 25 amateur fights. Here's another left hand by Abel. Right. Let him go. There's the right uppercut. Right. No punching. No fire seems to have a problem getting out of the way of that straight left hand. Frank, watch the punch on the brakes, Abel guys. has to watch out for lunging that, though. He does yeah. lunge his left hand. He's reaching with it, and it, that could be dangerous. And one of the things that No Fire told us is that he wanted to dictate the pace of this fight. Now, obviously, Frank. we're early on. What have you seen out of him thus far? Well, it seems like to me that Abel is, is, is dictating the pace of the fight so far. I mean, it sounds like Ronnie Shield wants right, his guy to down. control the tempo of the fight. But at this point, it seems like Abel is controlling the tempo. As you pointed out, Sammy, he keeps getting clocked with that left hand. If you watch no fire, he leans, he leans to his right, right. every right. time. So no that, that left hand the is there constantly. If he doesn't change it up, he could possibly be stopped by this left hand if he doesn't move. And if Abel stops falling in with the left, because when he throws the left, he falls right. off balance, so he can't come back with the right hook. There's not as much power either. You would know being the, being the southpaw. Exactly. You sit down on that left hand and come with that right hook, they're going to sleep. Under a minute here in round two. There it is again. Right. And I know a little something about training softball. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> Devin Alexander. Corey Spinks. Corey Spinks as well. Eight world titles between them. <laughs> you better preach that resume. <laughs> that spell right. throws that left hand. <laughs> no brags, just facts. Absolutely. That's it. Straight left hand. If he would right. just sit down, if he would control his balance, stop falling in and reaching with the left hand, and just turn it to see he's falling yep. in. Yep. The last one that we saw was oh. he caught him. He just caught him. He just caught him. Now let's go to work, baby. Let's take a look. Come on, now we're down the two rounds now. At the very we end of the round points. here, Kevin. All right? Listen, we got to knock this guy out, okay? Well, he catches him with the right hook first. But it's, but the punch of the night is the left hand, and he's constantly landing left hands. Another look. There's a head, but... Yes. That's why you saw Abel was bleeding, and Gary Mizra came over and told us, and listen, the cut came from an accidental headbutt. It's over the left eye. If you listen to Ronnie Shields in the corner, he told him he needs to move. West. No fire has to move his head. He can't just keep dipping to the right, because that's just going to keep leading right to the left. Break! If Abel, Abel is not careful, he's lunging in with that left hand, he's going to get caught 
with a left hook from no fire. Right. Don't hit on the break. No hit because and hold Because he's just lunging in off balance. And if he doesn't land, he's falling off balance. Terry's on left stand by a best high. One fight, no fight. A right hook, right hook. Trucks, no fire again. He was close enough in range to land the right hook. You okay? If he Rock would step up. Come on. He's up. He told Gary Mizra he was okay. Break. This Break. fight would be Don't over if Abel would close the distance and then fire the left hand, right hook. That right hook. Rock no fire again. Stop. Stop. No fire. Got a box. He got to move around. He got to get himself back together. No fires. 19 and 0. 15 have come by knockdowns. Is that left hand again? First time in his career he's been down and he's in trouble Break. here in Break. round Break. three. We're holding. Joey Abels said this fight will determine his whether or not he continues on. Abels loading up Let on that go. left hand. He knows it's open. Yeah. He come back with that right hook. No fire never sees the right hook coming. But he has to get in better. Big range. left hand. just suffered his first professional defeat. That left hand, he kept getting caught with that left hand, man. You know, that's something that he needs to go back into the gym and work on. But, um, I mean, it, I mean, what are you going to say? <laughs> well, tonight it looked like no fire had no fire. And Abel was cold as ice and came out. Well, Abel said, in his opinion, no fire had been tested and that he thought his lack of experience would be his detriment. He was correct. His left hand connected, and he gets himself a knockout victory. When we come back, the official time of the stoppage. This is Toe to Toe Tuesday. We are inside Black Bear Casino Resort. That's Joey Abel. Fought here in this facility in October of last year. Victorious again here tonight as we take a look back at the knockdown and the stoppage here, Sammy. He catches no fire with an overhand right. And then he, right there, that's the first knockdown. And then he catches it right at the end with that left hand. And then the end of the fight. There was the right hand that hit him again, and then he hit him with a double left hand. That's what dropped him. Left hand was open all night. That was, that was a Texas Rangers Odor right hand there. He, yeah. got, he got it with. <laughs> and you can see there as the referee Gary Mizra saw the corner of No Fire who said that was enough. Let's take a look at the Motel 6 punch stats. And how about Abel? Threw 84 punches, landed nearly 50%. I mean, 42%. Usually when you're up near 50%, it's a good night for you. Just 17%. For West No Fire, but it's a Bell fighting for his basically his future here, and he comes up with a stoppage. Let's get the official time of this stoppage. Here's Ray Flores. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at two minutes, 12 seconds of the third round. Referee in charge, Gary Mizwa, waves off the bot for your winner by technical knockout, Joey Minnesota.